Okay, so, so I had some fun here. I'm switching to Nina from Sequence Generator. Um, I had some connection issues and things with Sequence Generator that I just wasn't happy with. It's a good program. It's not a free, free program. And Nina is a free program. I went on the Facebook page for Nina Advice and got some help. Also got some grief from some jerky guy. Uh, started calling me names and stuff. I'm like, dude, I'm just asking for que asking questions. It's supposed to be helpful, but okay. So um, I did go to the Nina Discord page, which, to be frank, the jerky guy suggested, which I already knew about. But I went there, got some really good advice. So I got everything hooked up, and I just wanted to make a quick video on how to connect your next dome uh, to Nina to get it to work. And I've, I've been fighting with this for about <laughs> two days. But the only way I could get it to work, and please tell me if there's an easier way to do this, but I call up the Ask, Ascom Dome or Device Hub, which is in Ascom uh, 6, uh, the latest Ascom setup. And I connected the telescope and the dome here first using the beaver dome and then I hit the sync to telescope button or slave to telescope so basically at that point I could move the scope around using, using um, EQ mod and the, do the dome would follow but I wanted to do everything through Nina just to make sure I didn't have any issues let me bring Nina back up here so, now with this setup, if I go to Nina Dome, and you can see it's grayed out because I'm currently connected, I selected Device Hub Dome and connected to that, and it finally worked. It literally took me almost six hours of trying to figure this out. And well, one of the things, and I'm, I'm kind of a jerk, and I know it, but... Um, one of the things the, the jerky guy kept telling me, it was like talking to help uh, help support when you call a computer, here's your, here's your computer on, there's a comm uh, port set up. I know all that. I've been using Sequence Generator with the same type of comm support things for going on three years now. So, you know, I just said to him, you know, I, I know you're trying, maybe not exactly, you know, I know you're trying to be helpful, but you're really not being helpful because... Like, and I specifically, it's like talking to help support. Give me some good advice. And he got all nasty. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but anyway, I got this to work. And I may have to change. And I don't think I can go to the setup now because it's connected. Maybe I can. Eh, I'll go to Dome. Nope, I can't because it's connected. But the, when you go to Ascom Device Hub and click on Dome... Um, and go up here to tools when you're not connected and click setup and then click dome setup uh, setup you can put your dome radius and your offsets and all the other stuff I may have to play with that a little bit and if I come back here I did rotate the scope and the dome did follow I don't have the shutter open but I don't know how close I am but it actually looks pretty good it might be a little short, and I got more room on this side than on this side. But I don't I don't usually rotate too much further than that, so I may have to play with the settings a little bit, but that's actually pretty good. So I hope this is helpful because I could not find any guidance with the next dome and Nina videos or anything. So if you want you're gonna end it now, but I'll run through this real quick again. So, and I'll start at the beginning here real quick. If you, ooh, that didn't work. If you go to device manager, ports, that's what the, the COM port for, that's what will show up. You should have Silicon Labs, CP210X USB to your, that's what, um, the next dome control board here is, is used to connect to the computer. So you should have that. 
Notice it says COM4. I know all that stuff. Yeah. People think everybody's ignorant. But uh, once you do that, you download apps COM device hub, call it up. You know what? I'm going to go ahead. I know this is going to make the video long, <laughs> and I apologize. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect. I haven't tried disconnecting this. Disconnect dome. I know the dome disconnect. Oh, that went fast. I have disconnected the dome before, and it took a long time. And I'm going to disconnect the telescope. Okay, so I'm going to close that back up. Now, notice it didn't disconnect it here, so you have to disconnect the dome. This takes a couple seconds. I've done this a couple times now. So, disconnect the dome. Come on. There it goes. Okay. And disconnect the telescope. That usually goes a little faster. Of course, it's going to prove me wrong. There we go. Okay, so now if you go to Tools and Setup, I'll be able to click on Dome. And there's the settings. This is the standard offset settings. I have to play around with uh, the scope position north-south. I think I need to move it a little higher than that, but I'll have to uh, play with it a little bit. Maybe do the dome radius to 2,000 also. I think that might be a little low. I think 2,000 closer. But that's what you got to do. Um, once you get your setup done, uh, connect the telescope. Connect the dome. That was fast. And then you can go to Nina. And I haven't had any problems connecting the telescope. So the, the telescope's been connecting pretty well. Success. It's the dome that's been kicking my butt. And you notice I got Device Hub set up there. Um, I haven't really messed with the settings here because you set everything up in the dome hub. But when you click that and bang, it, it connects right on now. One of the things I did learn... Oh, I better show you that, too. Um, I, uh, nuts. If you lower Device Hub, it disappears. Don't ask me why. So I'm going to set the phone down for a second. I have to go to Task Manager. Not sure why this does this, but if you go back and double click device hub, there it comes up. Um, click save to slave to telescope here, and then that slaves everything. And then if you go back to Nina, you don't have to click this because it comes back and says, Well, it's already done. And it says it's already following, you don't have to click that. So it works really well. Um, thank you to the people on um, the Nina uh, I can't remember the name but the Nina page, not on Facebook but the other one uh, they were very helpful uh, gave me some really good advice but I said I would make a video and this is 8 minutes long and I rambled a bit but I hopefully this is helpful I'm going to put this on my Greybeard's Astro and if anybody has any questions our advice, feel free to connect to me. And uh, I don't have a shutter, by the way. I'm not a motor. It's all manual. But other than that, I think that's it. Uh, I did get everything else to connect pretty easily. So far, I like Nina. It's a learning curve, just not as bad as Sequence Generator. That was, that was kind of a nightmare to start. But Nina is a little bit more user-friendly so far. I have not set up a Sequence yet. I have to do a little research on that, but it's been cloudy here in Pennsylvania for literally the middle of November. It's now the end of or middle of January. It's been terrible. The weather here in Pennsylvania has been brutal. So I've been playing with this. It's a good time to switch. And again, I hope this helps. Have a fine day.